Hey, shalom, shalom, everyone. How's it going? So yeah, here I am at the club again, and there have been a few things on my heart that I would like to talk about. Things that we've been sharing when we translate the services, the um, Glory of Zion International services, you know, Glory of Zion, they are based in Corinth, Texas. And um, we also track with Tim and Duck Dutch Sheets and Cindy Jacobs and uh, quite a number of um, mostly North American leaders in the body of Christ. And we know that, you know, from current contemporaneous, is that how you say it? Uh, prophecies, there are shakings that are coming to America. There are shakings that are coming in September and October, very specifically 2023. So we're almost there. And the Lord has been preparing His body, His church, since 2020 in a very specific way in regards to um, healing and delivering the body of Christ, preparing us to be firm, to be um, inabalabes, to be unwavering, to be not of those who will be shaken when those shakings come, that we won't lose our footing because we are so firmly um, on the rock. We're standing on on um, a firm ground, on solid rock, solid ground, Jesus the rock. And so, you know, we've been going through deliverance. The Lord has been taking um, out from within us the chaff. He is separating the wheat and the chaff from within us, even as He does it among the body of Christ. And, you know, remember when He does this in the body of Christ, He's not doing it to, to throw because he wants to throw anyone in the lake of fire. He wants his body to be clean. So he's, he, he's shaking us so that we will take a stand, so that we will stand firm, so that we will realize uh, what's going on and so that we would prepare and so that we wouldn't fall. But shakings will come and there will be great apostasy. So, you know, it's coming whether we like it or not, whether we want it to come or not, even whether we believe it or not. It's going to happen. When God says something's going to happen, it's going to happen, especially if it's in the Word. So we have these uh, current modern day prophecies that we're not quite sure about, but we do know that biblical prophecy is absolutely certain. It is a sure thing. Anyways, so we have heard from about three or four prophets already that there will be shakings in September and October. Some of them are saying about October, something like earthquakes or climatic things like hurricanes or things that are gonna shake the physical realm that are a result of a spiritual warfare. But before that in October, there might be something crazy that happens in September. And then we don't know if it's something like 9-11 or if it's something like um, the fin a financial crisis or if it's something of a constitutional crisis or something of a political crisis. No one really knows for sure, but they've heard very clearly, as they say, that there will be shakings. So how do we respond to this? Do we respond to it just by saying, this is never gonna happen, that's baloney, pathetic, whatever, you know? Or do we say, okay, well, we know the track record of these people, we know that they are godly men, they're not perfect, but they seem to have heard something do I just throw it out? Well, maybe not, but should, should there be fear mongering? No, absolutely not. When God shows us things, it's for us to repent and move and change. And God is showing things now so that we can repent as a nation. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm associating myself to America because of the body of Christ and because I track with people who are in America. And I love, I, I love the United States of America. So that's why I'm saying we, you know, we, there are people who, um, we've been tracking with this and we've been repenting uh, from, uh, f the, for the sins of America and, and, and changing things around as a body of Christ. There's a lot of spiritual warfare happening here. There's a lot of intercession. There's a lot of painting the borders. Tons of believers have been going to the borders of just about anything you can imagine from their homes to uh, their cities and their states and the nation. So Americans, the intercessors, the remnant in America has taken this 
assignment to heart and they are going to just about everywhere and they are painting, anointing the borders, the frontiers, the limits of the nation, which is awesome because it was a call issued by God and it seems like it just caught on like rapid fire, which is something only the Holy Spirit can actually do, you know, to make something like this take, take off like that. It's quite supernatural. So, you know, believers are doing their, their job. Most of uh, whoever has heard the call is going out. So how do we prepare other than intercession? Well, hear the Holy Spirit. If he, he wants you to move around, if he wants you to take a vacation and go somewhere, do it, listen to him, hear him out, go. If he wants you to stock food, do it. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's for someone else, maybe it's because there will be a natural disaster and then you'll have enough to send over. I don't know. So like I said, no fear, no exaggeration, no taking matters into your own hands. Just, you know, prayerfully consider and ask the Holy Spirit and then respond to whatever it is that the Holy Spirit will tell you. And if September comes along and nothing happens, October comes along and nothing happens, hallelujah, praise the Lord, we missed it. No problem whatsoever. But if something does happen, we are prepared, okay? So that's one of the things that was on my heart to finish this video here. If you have no idea who I am and you hate me already, I'm sorry, I love you. My name is Marcia Schofi Maluf. I'm from Brazil. I'm sitting in Sao Paulo right now. And I bless you. I bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go paint your borders, intercede, love on your family, love on believers and non-believers around you, and be safe, okay? Shalom, shalom.